Welcome back. We are here with another week of progress at the Kentwood Project. Yes, uh, we will be going through some very fun and exciting things. Um, it's just going to be a short video today because we're just going to be covering redoing the floors and installing the kitchen cabinets that you see behind us. Yes, though we are already knee deep, as you can tell, in our next process. Hence why we are covered in all of the white stuff. Don't let, don't let the drywall dust fool you. Yes, You're not this gonna is see not on this week's video, but it's like a preview of what's Ooh, to come. Ooh, it is. But yes, this week we are all about floor sanding and cabinet install. So enjoy. Check it out. It's floor time. Floor prep time. True. N nailing down nails deeper. I guess, yeah, true. We were hammering some nails farther in, but trying to get as many nails and staples out as we could, even though we had already done that once. But there were still a few really stubborn ones stuck in there. Because if you don't, it will eat through your sandpaper when you go to sand your floors. Or make a little spark. That's true, it did it make did, sparks. We had that happen only one time. That was a little scary. It that, did startle me. I thought the machine was gonna like blow up. No, no, I throwing sparks. Yeah, I, I thought, oh, I probably did finally hit a nail. Well, aren't you smart? Yeah. But yes, look at that floor and all its nastiness. But look at those beautiful patch jobs, though. I know. Mm. I kind of miss them. They were kind of fun looking. It looks like a uh, patch, patchy pair of jeans. Yeah, maybe. That was what I was going for, but oh, it's starting. Everyone, shh, it's starting. The first pass wasn't nearly as exciting as I was hoping it would be. <laughs> the first pass, all it did was sand off some of the glue and like cardboard stuff from the laminate yeah, floor. Yeah, and I was like, it still looks pretty bad. I was a little nervous at that point. Like when I emptied the dust, the dust bag after this? Yeah. It was just like... Not much. Cardboard paper residue yeah. and glue. Interesting. It was weird. But yeah, so I don't know if any of our viewers um, have used a drum sander, right? Yeah. Drum sander. Um, but it was way more intense than I expected. That little guy has some kick to it. It really wants, like when you turn the sucker around, it wants to pull you. Yeah, and the guy was very clear about needing to stay at a steady pace and you have to have your sanding paper, you want to start walking and then push your sanding paper down and then keep walking before you pull it up or you get these little grooves. So there was like a lot to think about and yeah, and the machine kind of wanted to take off with you. And this first round, this sandpaper here is 36 grit, so it is rough, yeah. yes, rough stuff. Toughest stuff we got. But yeah, look at that second pass. That was when it was like, oh, things are happening. There's actually floors under this. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. The second pass made me feel a lot more excited about it. Oh, and you'll notice we have our cool head gear on. Our respirators. Yes. Do, do, do. And you have to walk really small. It's really funny. Also, it was like, I don't know, I didn't keep track of how far I walked, but it was like so much walking in one tiny area. It was a lot of very small steps. Lots of little steps, yes. It's really funny watching it go on a fast forward because it looks like you're like shuffling. It, yes, you I mean, you really did. You're, yeah, yeah. Also, you, ha you could only get so close to the walls, so there are some areas that we weren't able to reach. Yes, yeah, so and we'll come back with some other machinery that will get closer to the edge. But really we're doing this in preparation for cabinets, which is gonna come up here pretty soon. Yeah, but yeah, this was a full day of walking around with a sander. Yes, and the belt sander is what you use for instances like you see here, where there's a, a lot of glue and nastiness that you had to get off first. Yeah. Um, there's a different sander we're gonna bring in later do the rest of the house and it's gonna be an orbital sander. It's a really huge orbital sander which spins around and it, it's not as aggressive and it should go a lot quicker than this little guy. Yeah, no, this took a while. Um, but again, like we said, there was just a lot of layers of crap stuck on top. So <gasps> we had to get that taken said, down. He said, said crap. Ooh. Is that not allowed? Full out. I see.
And it's interesting to watch how well your patching work started to blend in mm -hmm. after every pass. Mm hmm I know, it was really exciting after that second pass, like the third and the fourth, it was like, hey, this kind of looks like one floor as opposed to two floors mm -hmm. and some patch jobs. And yes, yeah, so the first, second, and third pass were all with that 36 grit sandpaper. And then coming up is gonna be our fourth pass. And with that one, we actually were told we could jump right to 100 grit, and we did, and it turned out really well. We used 100 grit sandpaper on this fourth pass. And we had a few little, uh, you just saw John kind of hit a few specific spots a couple times where we just ha maybe had um, some high or low areas that weren't quite getting as evenly sanded. Yeah. But we hit those spots, you still gotta hit like the entire area around you. You can't just hit like a single area when you go back and do that. Yeah, you still have to walk into it and walk out of it mm -hmm. so that the sander stays happy. You know, end up with a big sanding hole. Yeah. It's pretty fun to watch this one. This is a fun one to watch because it's like, oh, see it. so it pretty. It looks so much better. However, after we sanded it, we had to cover all the paper again. True. So, but we'll unveil it one day. It'll be really pretty again. I know. It'll be another exciting day. Whew. And almost done with our last pass. Oh yeah, our little threshold area. Forgot about that area over there. Hitting a few of those spots again. Just kind of picking out a few areas on the floor. And then vacuuming. More cleaning up the sawdust. Yeah. Ah. But I planned ahead and I took good before and after and during photos of this. So ta-da! Before and after, side by side. Yeah. But all this cool. work was ready and done for the cabinet guys, which these are our cabinet guys. Yay, cabinets! We actually have a kitchen. Yeah, we ca they came in and they installed our alder whitewashed cabinets. Which they, which these guys are, is they do every single day is install cabinets. So they did it super quick and made it look super easy. Yeah. I've installed. They probably have a system. I've installed many cabinets and. It didn't go quite this it's well. It's never gone this Ooh, easy. Ooh, they have like a really fancy long level. That's pretty cool. They had all the good tools. Yeah. A little bit jealous. <laughs> That's pretty spiffy. But yeah. Yeah, they boom. Make quick work. Suddenly, a kitchen just came out of nowhere. I know. Ah, it looks so good. And the floor, it looks so yeah. How fun. Excited to get the walls done and some paint up. I know. We are getting closer. Good job, them. Yeah. Way to go, cabinet guys. Floors. Pretty cool. We're really excited. Even more excited to get all of the floors done so that they match. Yes. That will be fun. But yeah, really. That's what we got. That is what we have. So, as we say, well, that's a wrap. Toy.